The term anterior pelvic tilt doesn't tell you anything about your hip motion. Here's why. Anterior pelvic tilt by definition is where the front part of the pelvis comes down and the back part of the pelvis comes up. And you can get a rough idea of the amount of anterior pelvic tilt by drawing a line from the PSIS to the ASIS. You'll commonly see this position in those that have a really arched standing position like this. Now a lot of so-called biomechanics experts will say that this puts the hip into a position of internal rotation. 75% or more of people have some degree of anterior pelvic tilt, meaning that this forward pelvis position is pushing the femur or thigh bone back into internal rotation. But this is actually only the case if we shift the pelvis forward while staying directly over the leg. But this isn't what happens when you anteriorly tip your pelvis and then shift forward in space. Even though we're in an anterior pelvic tilt, because we're shifting forward in space, we pull the leg along for the ride and twist this into hip external rotation. And this is actually super common for those that stand with their legs behind them like this in a sway back posture. So as you can see, we have anterior pelvic tilt in both cases, 